So, we're back at it again with another video, and today, guys, I feel like we should go ahead, just bring a little bit of love, a little bit of tension to our star helix that we got here today. We are running a U-Rad. Unfortunately, the the helix uh, already is rolled into radiation, so having U-Rad doesn't help nearly as much as if it was like, I don't know, any other element. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Regardless, though, you know... I like a lot of assault rivals in this game. There's a lot of good ones. And I feel like the the Star Helix is a solo assault rifle. It's a nice doll assault rifle, but I didn't it doesn't get enough love and enough of appreciation. Granted, there are, you know, hundreds of legendaries in this game. You know, not every weapon's gonna get the same amount of attention, obviously. You know, not all weapons are created equally, especially in this game. But I feel like the Helix has some potential. Look at it. Dude, it's a doll, uh, it's a doll assault rifle. Uh, you can get it from the Power Troopers over at the Atlas HQ. Or, or you know, you can get it also as a world drop. The, uh, the puppy shoots an additional two weaving bullets, which is good because you're basically getting extra projectile, extra projectiles out of it, which is always really good because you're essentially doubling your damage when you are doing that. And the Helix automatically shoots an additional uh, two weaving bullets to begin with, which is going to give you, you know, some extra damage, which is going to be even more useful with things like, you know, sh uh, proccing your short fuse, also, you know, getting extra, you know, areas where your U-Rad can uh, provide extra damage, which is obviously very, very nice. Now, if you don't have a U-Rad variant of it, you know, maybe you have a, a conset kits, which, I, if you know me and you watch the channel, bro, you already know I love me some conset kits on any goddamn weapon for show on God on everything. This weapon's no exception. <laughs> Now, granted, don't get me wrong. I'm not. I'm not out here trying to make this video, trying to like push the helix all the way to the top of the pedestal and everything. But I've done a couple videos recently where I was like, I'm just like talking about the weapon. I'm not doing like a live showcase or anything. I'm just talking about the weapon, trying to give it some extra credit. Uh, we talked recently about the love drill. We also talked about the torrent, and you know, now we're talking about an assault rifle in the Star Helix. You know, might as well try and give it, you know, give us some love and appreciation. You know, put some extra shine on it, and just give it a some nice little video. Because sometimes, I mean, look, dude, there's there's so many weapons in, the, in this gosh darn game. I've I've showcased, you know, some weapons here and there, multiple of the same, uh, you know, over the time and stuff like that. But the Helix is one I think I've only done maybe like two videos on, and that's about it, bro. So I felt like it was time that we made another one going over it, talking about it and stuff like that in that situation. Of course, you know, if you, if you, depending on what, you know, Vault Hunter you're on, this puppy will be really good. You know, if you have a U-Red version, you're on Amara. You can get some insane amount of elements, uh, work and synergy going on could be very devastating obviously you know zane is always good with his just pure gun damage flak with this gun and gorillas in the mist would work pretty well for sure also you know adding two fang with this could help this gun out tremendously maybe throw on something like an infernal wish oh obviously you know, could always use an old god a plus ultra a revolter a super soldier stuff like that or you know a transformer stuff like that you could always use uh, artifacts i'm always you always know bro i'm i'm pearl for life obviously a decently rolled doll company man will work with this gun really well as well. That's dude. The company mans are awesome. Great addition to the game. Just saying. Just saying. Uh, now, depending on what uh, type of build you're going for, it depends on the vault hunter. It depends on the trees you're going for. You're just throwing up some ideas and stuff like that. For the most part, though, I feel like the Helix is a pretty solid, consistent weapon. I'm not saying it's better than the Soul Render, the Clairvoyance, the Breath of the Dying. But I'm saying that it should get some respect. Obviously, it's not no monarch or anything. I'm just trying to give it some extra, you know, give it some extra reputation. You know, boost it up a little bit out there. Trying to give it some love and everything. Guys, if y'all have used this, uh, the Star Helix, please feel free to let me know your thoughts and opinions on it down below. I want to know, you know what I'm saying? I would like to get everybody's thoughts and opinions um, on all the videos and all the guns that we're, like, we're talking about, situations and stuff like that. And, yeah, other than that, though, guys, that is going to just about wrap up the video. I hope y'all did enjoy. If you guys did enjoy this short little video, please make sure to drop your love on that like button. And subscribe if y'all are new. We're on the road to 10,000 subscribers. Trying to hit that by the end of the year. So if you like daily content and you like Borderlands 3, please do consider subscribing. But, yeah, with all that stuff being said out the way, guys, hope y'all enjoyed the video. My name's Kree, and we'll see y'all in the next one. Peace out, everybody.